Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Over Potato, and welcome to Until the Last Plane. Uh, you may recall I played this game a little while ago when it was still in demo form. Now it is fully released, and we're going to check out, well, the campaign. Um, the first, I believe, the first uh, USA uh, mission was available as the demo. So I think we're going to spice it up a little bit, comrade, uh, and perhaps play... Uh, as the, the BBC, of course, the British Broadcasting Corporation, uh, no, VVS, I, I don't know what that stands for, the, the Soviet Air Force. Uh, anyway, we're gonna be, we're gonna be playing through the, uh, the Easy Moscow campaign, we're gonna see what the heck happens here. Okay, a couple of things have changed since the demo. Uh, first and foremost, we've now got a resource. Uh, political influence. The resources and pilots will be sent automatically when you reach certain values in political influence. Okay, very, very cool. So we're automatically going to get pilots and resources by uh, by winning missions. I like that a lot. Uh, we can also add on an emblem if we do indeed want to tweak the durability slash maneuverability statistics. I think adding a bear... I think adding a bear to our aircraft right over here, down in the bottom left, uh, is gonna be is gonna be just grand. Okay, let's jump into the campaign and see what the heck is up. Uh, I do indeed know how to play. Uh, I'll uh, I'll try and do my uh, do my best to explain exactly what the heck is happening. Right, it's daily briefing time. What have we got going on? Given that this is primarily a management game, uh, it's mostly about making sure that we have enough resources to organize and fight until the last plane. Uh, so, to that end, victory, win at least one mission per day, defeat, lose all your pilots. That's that's pretty much it. The Germans are at the gates of Moscow. It's absolutely necessary to block them and then push them back. The important thing is to intercept the German bombers before they drop the bombs. Cool. And this is 1941. Uh, it's the easy campaign. And we have exactly zero political influence. In our squadron, we've got seven Yak-1 aircraft, uh, which is kind of nice. Okay. Uh, let's start the day with a little bit of reconnaissance. Now, we can crank up how much fuel we want to use on this reconnaissance mission. I think we want to try and get as much information as possible. Sure, we're exposing ourselves to slightly higher levels of risk, but I still think that this is a, uh, I still think that this is a trade that I'm perfectly willing to make. Okay, so, uh, as you can see, around the airfield, we got a couple of, we got a couple of buildings. We'll be clicking on them over the course of, uh, over the course of this, uh, this episode. Uh, this is brand new, this uh, this scouting interface. So we have to go through we have to go through this whole rigmarole of scouting and taking a photo of enemy planes and installations, I believe. Uh, so we're looking for, yeah, we're looking for aircraft formations like this. I mean, it's not particularly challenging. Uh, I think that at max we can find, what, like three targets over here? Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, so we're taking some photos. It's the reconnaissance element. Uh, it doesn't seem like we're in altogether too much danger, but you never know. So that's two bases that we found and also an air squadron, which probably means that we're going to be going up against, uh, well, I guess, an air squadron, and then we're going to be doing two, uh, two bombing runs. So we do, in fact, have three missions. What do we got? Attack the base, fight the enemies, attack the base. I mean... Okay, I'm I'm fine with all of these um, with all of these missions. We only have one type of aircraft, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. Uh, wind variation is important. Temperature variation, not entirely sure if that's going to become uh, a factor, but uh, I think we'll do. I think we'll try this. We'll do attack the base. Sure, what the heck, right? Uh, and we're going to go for very strong wind, just because. Actually, well, why would we go for very strong? Because this gives us negative um, bomb aiming effect. Yeah, so let's go for uh, let's go for this over here. I don't know. What do we think? Maybe three aircraft, three aircraft for a bombing run. That seems entirely reasonable to me. Okay, so we'll dispatch our boys in the aircraft here. Uh, that's that's cracking. Great, and we've got some authentic Russian voice acting as well. Uh, so there we go. Okay, we got a workshop over here. Uh, we can craft a whole bunch of different parts in our workshop for. I mean all of our uh, all of our aircraft engine replacements uh, engine replacements part replacements over time we will take we will take hits I you know I am I am fallible I am a I am a human being and we will indeed we will indeed see some see some of our aircrafts uh, get hit uh, we got nine mechanics available and we can assign mechanics to do some of the construction of said parts it will require it will require spare parts or whatever they're called yeah spare parts it'll require spare parts for us to make the uh, the dedicated engine parts or the dedicated plane parts but we don't 
necessarily need to worry about that. Okay, we got 20 seconds before doing that. Let's see if we can try and explain what the warehouse does. Warehouse is where we stole our, store our parts, our fuel, our ammo. As you can see, our political influence. Aha! So this is what we get at certain values of political influence. Very, very cool indeed. Okay, let's go and do the, um, let's go and do the bombing mission. So we can decide to stay at the same altitude, we can uh, advance to a higher altitude, or we can decrease to a lower altitude. I'm going to stick at the same altitude, I think that that's reasonable. Uh, this is pretty... This, I was away to say, that's pretty easy, uh, but as it turns out, I'm able to miss it. But it's okay, it's the first bomb and run of the day, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just warming up. There we go, stay at this altitude. So, uh, if we decide to decrease our altitude, there we go. If we decide to decrease our altitude, the uh, the aiming reticles go slower, and uh, they go faster yes, if we're on a higher if we're on a higher altitude. Similarly, though, if we're at a higher altitude, I believe there is uh, less of a chance of that happening, of basically being shot to smithereens and uh, and taking up uh, valuable resources in the repair process. Okay, you know what? Let's go to the high altitude. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Bombe pasli. Did I hit? He's done it. Yes, me. I still take I still take a hit though. Well, I'm a I'm a little bit miffed about that to be honest. That's a little bit um a little bit irritating. Okay, all right. Well, we're we're off to a pretty bad start, but at least we've hit you know a couple of targets here. Let's stay at the same altitude. What the heck? Let's not uh, let's not tax my tax my reaction time. All right. Please, I would love to evade. Yes, beat. Really, for real, for that. real. Okay, so that's what almost every single aircraft is taking damage. Okay, let's um, let's inspect. We'll do we'll do the inspections. Uh, inspections. I don't believe cost mechanics, but we need to inspect each and every part of the aircraft to make sure that it hasn't been damaged. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, we're probably going to be doing this a couple of times because I mean. It looks like these aircraft have gotten shot up pretty darn bad. Let's continue to inspect, and let's hope that we don't need to replace too many parts. Okay, yes. problem found in the tail. Good stuff. Let's get that all fixed up. So that's going to take, what, three mechanics in order to fix that. Lightly damaged is going to take yes. one spare part to fix. Good stuff. That's going to take another couple of mechanics to fix. And keep inspecting. And whilst we're doing the inspections... Let's jump into the workshop, and let's see if we can try and make a another tail. So, we had one tail that was in stock. We've used up that buffer uh, that we had, and now we're after now we're after parts. Oh, yeah. We need to get political influence in order to get parts. So, I'm not going to be able to start construction of a replacement tail immediately. Not necessarily a problem, but it is a little bit irritating. Okay. Problem found. Ah, right. Okay, this is exactly why I want a, uh, I want a new, I want a new tail. And I'd like a new tail as quickly as we possibly can so that we can get our, our aircraft back in, uh, flying shape. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a little bit less than ideal. Little bit less than ideal. Minimum number of foes to kill, minimum number of ta targets to bombard. Fine. Dismantle this plane to retrieve... What? Has died because the plane has not been repaired. Are you kidding me? Get out the plane. Just get out yes. the plane. For real? Uh, the pilot doesn't need to stay yes, in the plane good. if the tail is damaged. This is not... This is not new information here. This is ridiculous. Okay, well, I guess we're scrapping this for, for spare parts. I think we just got mightily unlucky, to be honest. Mighty, mighty, mighty unlucky uh, that we weren't able to do that we weren't able to do anything about that. Yeah, that sucks really, really hard. Also, I'm pretty sure the chances of um, the chances of having three aircraft shot down in quick succession is just ludicrous, actually kind of incredible when you think of uh, when you think of the chances I mean I, I was at high altitude for one of those and and still a plane uh, a plane chased me down either way let's do some more reconnaissance let's see if I can try and get my my good vibes back all righty yep there we go we're you know still in when the bar fills up an enemy will come and uh, shoot me down okay fine well we're we're all good we're uh, we're fine 
Let's continue to do the bombard targets. Minimum number of foes to kill two. Uh, well, actually, no. I need to be. I need to be winning missions. Winning missions is very, very important for political influence. Right. Let's do. Let's do one fighter. Let's do one fighter. I'm supremely confident that we can. Ooh, that looked like a collision there. I'm supremely confident that we can make this happen. Okay. Uh, also, we can go into the field medic tent and we can uh, send a pilot for 50 minutes to take more medicines for tomorrow and that's going to give them a fatigue bonus and a stress bonus. Bonus decrease, that is. Uh, we can talk a little bit about that later, but suffice to say, it's not super important. We don't necessarily need to worry about it. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I, I can't believe that we've failed the daily mission today because, uh, because our pilot died. That's ridiculous. Okay, so in this interface... We have to, uh, we have to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Ooh, this is gonna be gnarly. We only have three moves here, which I don't exactly love. But... I think we're just gonna have to make do with this. Ooh, look at that! Okay, we are just within firing range of the aircraft, which means that we are absolutely going to, uh, going to wreck the fella in there. And we're gonna hopefully win some missions and maybe win a little bit of political influence. Goodness gracious me, it would be it would be nice. We have satisfied the we have satisfied the command. Our plane is apparently still up there though, so we can we can claim some more we can claim some more spoils. No, I didn't mean to do that one. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Uh sure, let's 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 go there. Easy. Easy. Easy, 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 easy. Never a doubt in my mind. Uh, some of the planes that we will be coming uh, coming up against have got rearward facing guns. So we need to be super careful about, you know, getting, getting into, you know, mega close proximity with them. Let's continue to advance. It doesn't look like these aircraft do have uh, rearward facing guns. So we should be good on that front. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, fine. That's looking very, very nice. All right, that's three for three, which I must say is mighty fine. If only we hadn't, uh, if only we hadn't lost that pilot on the, on the literal first mission of the day. Who'd have thunk it, eh? Who'd have thunk it? Okay. Uh, what's happened? What's happened now? So our morale decreased after we lost that mission, which is, you know, a little bit of a pain in the backside, and we still don't have any political influence. I'm hoping that even though I've officially failed the mission, I may still be in the running for a little bit of political influence here. Also, it probably won't, uh, it probably won't surprise you to hear that this element of the game, i.e. the, uh, the interface and where you're shooting down enemy aircraft, is probably my least favorite part of the uh, of the of the game. I, I like the management aspect much better. Uh, right. So this is the dodge interface. This is where we get to do. This is where we get to do dodges. Let's just do. Let's just go behind them. Oh, I hate that. Let's dodge the side. Oh no, we're gonna. He's gonna clip our wing. That's a. Oh, we evaded. Okay, well that's excellent. I'm I'm delighted. I I would love to end this mission at some point, please. Video game. This would be a really really great day if we could do that. Also, can we not recycle this plane over here? This plane's not looking. Uh, not looking so hot. Okay. There we go. Retreat. Advance. Adv advance again, and we're just fine. Yeah, I mean, that's a, what, five? We kill five enemies with this freaking aircraft? That's insane. I feel like just that statistic would be good enough to get some sort of hero of the Soviet Union Medal of Lenin sort of award. Dvinatsit Chisov, easy. I think that means something to do with clocks, isn't it? Like, that's, it's a, two, a 12 o'clock, straight ahead. I think that's what it translates to. Don't quote Rags me on that, though. Alright, this is easy. This is this is very, very easy. We're just farming. We're just farming, uh, farming enemies at this point here. Also, our spare parts did increase by a fairly substantial amount ever since we, uh, we downed, uh, or ever since we recovered that aircraft. 
let's see if we can start the construction the construction of uh, of another tail i didn't assign many mechanics did i that's fine let's not worry about that altogether too too much i don't think that there should be any damage on this aircraft we may have to do some i don't know cursory repairs or whatever but uh but nothing major i don't believe yes. out of fuel that's it there we go that's literally that's literally it we are desperate absolutely desperate for more fuel but we need to wait for the political influence to filter through before we're going to be able to get it either way shouldn't take too long the aircraft is currently undergoing the refueling the day is almost over i believe the day finishes at some point soon it might be five o'clock it might be six o'clock not entirely convinced that i know there we go mission accomplished enemy shot down six political influence plus 11 wowzers that's very very nice indeed uh so five plus one per every combat that we uh that we won oh look at that did we get our parts we totally got our parts we got 10 fuel and 10 ammunition it's a little bit worrying that we have to it's a little bit worrying that we have to you know uh care about the fact that our political influence is what's determining whether we get parts or not uh so i'm just gonna have to i'm just gonna have to keep up okay the high command has sent you new resources. Indeed, indeed. That's great news. Okay, I'm not going to run any reconnaissance missions. It's 6 o'clock in the evening. I'm pretty sure if it doesn't finish at 6 o'clock, the day is going to finish at uh, at 7, which is just fine. Uh, let's have a little look at our skill points whilst we're here. Eagle Eye. Increases accuracy of all pilots by 10. Accuracy affects the size of the fire cone in combat. That would be very helpful. Uh, metalwork durability of each aircraft is increased by 10. Don't care. All mechanics will work 20% faster. Probably care about tactics, maybe. Not available. What does that mean? Let's increase accuracy. How, what do you mean not available, video game? This is a... I hope that that's not a, a, a hangover from the from the demo. That'd be very disappointing. Okay, let's check out day two. What do we got on, uh, what do we got on day two? Okay. Nice, nice. We got a little bit of we get a little bit of story. The bombers are approaching Moscow. Today's order is to intercept and shoot him down. You got it. Divorce. Who's this? Uh, somebody's wife has asked for divorce because she hasn't seen her husband for too long and has found somebody else. Oh, this is one of the pilots. I suppose that's a photograph of a happy family or an ex-happy family. Alrighty, this is this is nice. So we've got some nice story elements here. I uh, I like this. I like this a lot. Destroy the enemy uh, HE-111 before it can reach the nearby town. Well, I think that we're gonna do that. Absolutely. Oh yeah, this is the uh, this is the stressy boy. This is the stressy boy who's currently going through uh, a little bit of a bad breakup at the moment. Senior lieutenant. Ooh, nice. Ten accuracy plus one combat moves. I mean, I'd be I'd be stupid not to not to operate this individual. You know what? Let's take two planes. Let's take two planes. I'm pretty confident in my so pilot's sure abilities. But uh, but let's not let's not push it to just one. Uh, did I manage to get the tails uh, finished? I totally did. Excellent. That's that's really really good. Let's leave that on five so that next time we build something, uh, we can preemptively build it reasonably quickly. I think that we should have one of absolutely everything in stock. Yeah, we absolutely do. We've only got one plane as well to cater for, so we don't need, you know, loads of parts uh, kicking around. We should be, we should be just fine. Okay, bomber interception. This is a story element, so I'm, I'm pretty pogged at the chances that this is going to be uh, interesting. Oh my goodness, look at the size of that thing. Okay, so we get to dodge left and right here. Uh, I will say my firing cone is going to be pretty freaking large. I suspect that this HE-111 has got a... I suspect that it's got a... Uh... A rear gunner here? Yeah, it's definitely got a rear gunner. Oh, that was stupid, wasn't it? I should have dodged. I should have dodged left. Either way, I don't think that we would really have been in with a chance of, uh, of escaping damage there. We need to be real careful with engaging these things. I know that that looks kind of stupid, but, I mean, if we'd have dodged left there, I'm not entirely sure that we would have missed the... Uh, missed the cone from the from the bomber. Okay, we got another chance. Uh, yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to fight it out. So let's do another dodge that way, and then we'll dodge back into the center here, which I really don't like the look of. Okay, looks like we do dodge. So right, right, left seems to be seems to be absolutely fine. Alrighty, uh, but also we weren't able to shoot it down. 
I presume that I'm going to get another opportunity, given that the bombers are still around. All right. 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 Left. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's uh, highly problematic. Looks like we're going to take a little bit of damage here. Mayday, mayday. Okay, I need to pay attention. I need to pay attention to the way in which the little yellow flashes are coming out of the aircraft. That's cool. I like that. That's uh, That's very, very nifty. That looks like an engine problem if ever I saw one. I wouldn't know an engine problem, you know, from, from Adam if it if it hit me in the face. Alright, let's have a little look. Let's assess the situation here. Can we see any little flashes now? No, we cannot. Let's go let's go right. Still nothing? Still nothing? Uh they're coming from both sides. They're coming from both sides. We're gonna take damage here. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah. I don't think there's much we could have done there. I think whatever the case, we'd be we'd be in for a yes, in for a wild time. Okay, these bombers are tanky. I think it's the same bomber. Okay, right. Let's let's get let's get on this let's get on this uh, repair job instantly, so that we can get back in the skies. H E one eleven life forty five percent forty five freaking percent. Oh my lordy, that's a lot of percent. All right. Well, that's that's a consideration. That's big consideration um, that we'll need to take into account next time. At least we managed to do forty-five percent, to be honest, or fifty-five percent, I should say. Uh, but that's a lot of life there. Holy cow, that's crazy. No matter, we shall persevere. the The motherland is at stake. Yes. Lightly damaged, four parts. Let's get you back in the sky. This is our Kuten Kutenpolv. I think that's how you say it, uh, is our is our best pilot anyway. I'm really hoping that this is not an engine problem. An engine is like the big, it's like the big thing, I think. Although, in saying that, it costs 100 parts to make the tail and also the wing. So, ideally, ideally we don't want the wing, engine, or the tail to get damaged. I think. There we go. Anyway, for some reason it took the mechanics a while to get out here. We should be able to get that repaired. Hopefully soon, maybe we get one more engagement with one aircraft. Maybe if we're lucky, we get a second. It's the engine. I just had to curse it, didn't I? I just had to freaking curse it. I had to freaking curse it. Also, getting mechanics to work 20% faster. I, I know that I I know that I said I, I was probably interested. I'm now definitely interested. The speed at which, which mechanics work uh, is abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. Absolutely, absolutely abysmal. Right, we got one more. We got one more encounter with the bomber. Let's go left. Let's go left, left, and then let's go right. Uh, I'm not convinced that this is going to be. Oh, this is safe. Okay, this is excellent. He one eleven. It's right there, potato. It's right there. I think that that's two more. I think that that's two more encounters, and I am highly suspect that we're going to get our remainder two encounters. Mission failed again. Okay, morale is taking an absolute tanking. What does that mean? Morale is normal, no penalty. All right, well, we didn't win anything, which means that we're not gonna, that means we're not gonna get anything. However, we can just send people out. This plane is taking heavy damage, the next mission will be its last. Uh, that's, that's a no. That's a big no. Let's speed up time a little bit. I think that we're in with a chance here. I think that we're in with a chance. I know that we're, I know that we're not exactly doing great in terms of, uh, you know, stopping bombers, but I, I think that we do have a chance. I think that we do have a chance. Right. We only have two unblemished planes. We only have two unblemished planes. Can we even fight? Can we even fight the bomber? We have to try. We have to try, amigos. This, this has to be done. Go, 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 go. I maybe even should have added, like, another... I maybe should have added another aircraft on just for the, you know, a, the sake of good measure there. This is going to be a really, really tough gig, especially, yep, as I kind of anticipated, it's a brand new, it's a brand new bomber. Okay, left, left, right. I think we should be fine. We're fine. Okay, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. So I think at the moment, it looks like we need about six engagements. I'm hoping that the uh, that the pattern of uh, of gunfire is the same as the last engagement. If that's the case, I might be able to remember 
I might be able to remember what the order is. Okay, I think now we gotta go... I think now we can go right... Right... Uh... Uh-oh. No, we're in trouble here. Evade, evade. We got a hit, which is great. Evade? No, 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 no. Okay. Doesn't look like the pattern's the same. At least, at least it's uh, it's not it's not the same from what I can see. Maybe it, maybe after it takes a hit, it changes its firing pattern. That might be that might be quite sensible. All right. Let's double down on right side. Let's double down on the right side. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Let's dodge. Let's dodge it. Let's dodge it. I think this is our best chance. I think I should be more open to the idea of dodging. We gotta be real careful, you know? We gotta be real, real careful. Okay, let's see if we can try and get this aircraft uh, fixed up as well. I'm not exactly over the moon about how long it's taking mechanics, but that's fine, at least for, for now. Okay, let's go left this time. Left, left. Brilliant. Okay. We got a clean hit. A clean hit. Half HP. Half HP and one aircraft still in the game. One aircraft being inspected on the ground at the moment. I think we are in with a chance of, uh, of destroying this bomber. Uh, its life is at 47%. My time is probably around about 47% as well. Just under 50% of the way there. If we find the problem now, I'll be happy. We don't. It's fine. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's stick left. Stick left. What do we got? Intel? Uh, Intel is good. Let's go in for the kill. Or at least go in to deal more damage. Alright. Two more, two more runs. I think that this is entirely doable. I am very, very excited about the prospect of actually stopping a bomber. This is great news. This is great news. I wonder how much political influence we're going to get from this. We are, you know, fundamentally only stopping one aircraft here. Um, and I have already failed to stop another one. So, that's kind of on me. Right, left, left. I'm having better luck with left. What do we got here? Let's... Let's dodge. Let's dodge here. Dodge here. I am not convinced that we can avoid... I'm not convinced that we can avoid damage there. I think that we're going to have to take damage. What do we got here? 14 spare parts. Nice and easy. Okay, nice and easy and also cheap. Very, very cheap. Let's go left. Right. Left, right, left. Let's go left, left. Oh, no. Tell a lie. This should be good. Yes, there we go. Okay, so the firing pattern changes. It might even change randomly. But as long as we go left, left, or left, right, uh, then we should always be able to evade and always get into, you know, that sort of sweet spot between the between the tail and the wing where we're able to deal uh, a tremendous amount of damage. Okay, this is good intel. This is good intel. I like this. This is a, this is a, a fair amount of strategy. So let's go left, left. Assess the situation. What's going on here? Uh, everywhere. I feel like maybe I should just go in for the kill, even though I don't exactly... I don't exactly love this. Also, looks like the firing cones can change, um, can change their size too. Interesting. I wonder if the firing cone size is, uh, is shown by the... the amount of muzzle flash. No ammo? We're out of ammo? I think this is still fine. I think this is still fine. Maybe I should have gone in for the kill. I, uh, I didn't realize that my aircraft was running low on ammo. I should have been more... I should have been more attentive, I guess. Right. Yes. Load you up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my goodness. How far do the freaking mechanics need to run? That's ridiculous. Oh, come on. We gotta be... We gotta be in with a chance of... Uh, we gotta be in with a chance of destroying this thing. Come on. Load, 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 load. Load like you've never loaded before. Okay. Okay, good. Let's have a little look. Assessment looks great. Let's go in for the kill. Yeah! I think we got it. I think we got it. Yes? Hey! We did it. We did it. Wonderful. Political influence plus 20. Promoted pilots 
Excellent. And morale is up too. Holy cow. Okay, that gives us more parts. Uh, it's only 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's only 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Is that a new aircraft? Ooh, would you look at that. Would you look at that? We got some Yak-3s. How, how excellent. How excellent. This guy is stressed out of his mind um, because his wife is trying to divorce him. Uh, yeah, okay. You can repair it in the squadron selection menu before the mission. Wait, can I? I don't think I can. The only way that I can repair it. Oh, I see. Okay, so I repair it and then it won't be... I can I can put it on the list as is, or I can repair it and uh, and that'll end up that'll end up expanding its life. Thanks to your political influence, yeah, yeah, we've uh, we've added more parts. Um, you know what? Honestly, maybe we want to do one of these one of these bomber interception things again. I kind of enjoyed that. That was that was fairly that was fairly challenging, but fairly rewarding. Let's let's try our new let's try our new Yak three aircraft. They may have some slightly different dodge Did mechanics I, uh... or evasion mechanics or whatever. We'll give it a crack. You just turn down here. You're gonna have to you have to gonna have to go no, up there sure. and then. That's I fine. Just... All right, mission's accomplished today. Just one, but there's still a good chance that we can finish the second one off. Wonderful. Uh, do I have one of everything? I do not have an engine in stock. We gotta we gotta get an engine done. Okay. Five mechanics are going to be working on this. No, nope. one freaking mechanic are working on it. I don't want to cancel. No, 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 don't cancel, don't cancel. Don't cancel, don't cancel. I canceled. Did I get my parts? I didn't get my parts back. What the? Okay, if we if we don't have an engine, we're going to be we're going to be in trouble. Let's go right, right. Hashtag right gang. All right. I didn't even check for muzzle flashes. Turns out there wasn't one to be seen. That looks good. I mean, we're using three aircraft here. I'm I'm not anticipating. I'm not anticipating a difficult time. There we go. Right, left. Left. Let's have a little look. Assessment. Let's continue to go left. Let's not risk it. Let's not risk it. I do wish that I could tell my aircraft not to fire instead of wasting, you know, very fine Soviet ammunition. Just, you know, tell them to go around. Tell them to do a flyby. Do a flyby. I am so miffed that I lost my... that I lost my engine. I'm also really miffed at this reset. Ugh, it's not the end of the world, it's not the end of the world, but I mean, it is a hundred parts. So, you know, that's quite irritating. Okay, left gang this time. I suppose that's what Lenin, that's what Lenin would want. Hashtag left gang. Okay, let's fly up. Brilliant. Looks like my maneuverability is just in that sweet spot where I'm, I'm able to evade the rear, the rear fire every time, which is oh so important. Now, some of our pilots do have additional combat moves, additional accuracy, additional will, etc. Uh, but none of that is really super important. I think what's most important here is the fact that we've got that bear, you know, uh, emblazoned on the side of all of our aircraft, and that's giving us the uh, the extra maneuverability bonus, which is kind of nice. Right, uh, this all looks good to be honest. We should um, we should be able to get a free hit on this uh, on this bomber here. Excellent, very very nice, very very good. Everyone's everyone's getting a turn at hitting the the big old bomber. Everyone is getting a turn. Medicines zero percent. Wait, what? I can't send a pilot in here. Is it too late? Is it too late for me to send a pilot in? Is that the problem? Let's go... Let's go left. Let's evade. There's there's cones on either side of this aircraft here. Yeah. Better to be safe than sorry, eh? Reset the firing pattern. Come in for a second attempt. Or a third attempt. Or a fourth attempt. Or even a fifth attempt. I don't know. Uh, our morale, by the way, hasn't deteriorated such to the extent that we receive a penalty yet, but I am not looking forward to receiving a morale penalty. Okay, hashtag right gang. Let's go, let's go right instead this time. Oh boy, another... Okay, we gotta go around. We gotta go around. We, we dodged... <gasps> I still might take damage here. Ooh, wow. Okay, that was very fortunate, and truth be told, I don't think that I really deserve to get away, uh... To get away scot-free there. That was dicey. 
That was dicey. Okay, we gotta start landing some hits here. We gotta start landing some hits. Okay, right gang again. Yeah, nice. Okay, there we go. No rear gunner, no no rightward gunner. I think we're two we're two hits away. We're two hits away. That's that's good stuff. That's good stuff right there. Some good damage. Some very, very good damage. I wonder if there's a way that I can increase my damage somehow. That would be... That'd be excellent. No more bullets. I do worry that perhaps we might have a couple of aircraft coming back in. At the same time, reporting that they don't have enough ammo. Um, and also the mechanics are going to have to run like a freaking marathon in order to... You're kidding me. Yeah, they're gonna, they have to run all the way across the airfield here. Am I seriously not going to be able to do this because the... Yes. Could oh god, could we not maybe have the mechanics on the pads waiting, yes. waiting for the aircraft? I simply don't believe it. I simply don't believe it. This is typical, typical Soviet efficiency. This is just garbage. Okay, can we get the aircraft back out? I am very doubtful that we're going to be able to destroy this bomber, and that's going to make me very, very irritated. You did not stop the HE-111, and it bombed our city. Okay, so morale absolutely plummeted. Promoted pilots, got a couple of them. Excellent. All pilots must first return. Cool. Let's get him. Let's get him back in here. Uh, okay. Off that side of the screen, onto this side of the screen. We stopped one though, right? We stopped one. Did we not only have to stop one? Also, apparently, we still don't have a penalty yet. Our morale is still looking uh, pretty peachy. I have no idea why. I'm very, very glad, though, because I, I don't feel like I deserve my morale to be as peachy as it is. What is this? We've technically failed two days out of three? All right. Let's do some Let's do some recon. Three fuel. We got plenty of resources. That's the crazy thing. Um, I say we got plenty. I, I squandered 100, uh, 100 parts on, uh, on f trying to build a freaking engine and thus far failed. I must say, I don't know what it is. But I really, really, really like, I really, really, really like doing the bombing runs. Doing the bombing runs and doing that, I guess, like, pseudo boss fight of the, the bomber there was, uh, was pretty gnarly too. I, I enjoyed both of those. The regular old dodging and the regular old attacking aircraft, yeah, I don't really, I don't really care. I don't really care. Alright. Nice. Okay. So I guess the reason that you do reconnaissance is so that there is more stuff to choose from. You can, you know, engage on favorable terms. Fight the enemies. Uh, minimum number to kill is one very strong weak. Let's do, let's do this. Let's do this. And let's do... Yeah, sure. We'll do our Yak 3 A's. Yeah, that's, that's nice. That seems pretty, that seems pretty good. Another almost collision there. But that's fine. I'm just really miffed at how long the mechanics take to to get a, to get active. Strong arm, all pilots control the aircraft better by reducing the wind penalty. Raise resistance for all pilots by ten. No, I'm gonna get mechanics working faster. That, believe it or not, I hope that affects their run speed. Maybe the mechanics could work on a little bit of cardiovascular stuff whilst uh, whilst the pilots are out, uh, you know, fighting the good fight over here. Right. So far, so good. Easy. And are we going to get away? I think so. Did I destroy that target there? Yes, I did. I did. Minimum targets to be bombarded. I got it. Okay. We're attacking the aircraft here. Let's have a little look-see. We got four moves. We got plenty of moves here. I think this might be the type of aircraft that has got uh, a rear... A rear tail gunner. Yeah, it definitely is. Or it's got a, like a gunner in the middle. Either way, I should clip the wing, and we should get the we should get the kill. There we go. Easy peasy. Nicely done. Uh, that was only possible because we had a pilot that actually promoted. I think that that increased the cone of fire and also gave us additional maneuverability, which is really really nice. So that's two for two at the moment. Very very good indeed. All right, we're now also working with somebody who's upgraded. There we go. Move up here. Move up here. Move up forward. Move up forward again. Oh, lovely. He's nailed it twice in a row. Okay, that's that's three for three. That's 
just about as good as it gets. What is this, uh, is that supposed to be fields? It looks very garish, I must say. Very, very garish. Alright, is there a specific mission for today? I don't think that there's a specific mission for today. Not on day three, anyway. Let's stay at this altitude, shall we? Hidden by cloud coverage, but you can hardly miss it. You can hardly miss it. The facility, or whatever it is. What facility could it possibly be? I don't know. I feel like if, uh... You know, if the enemy are attacking, the enemy are attacking Moscow, did they really have a chance to build a, you know, a concrete facility like the one that we presumably just saw? I don't know. I don't know. Again, this this looks kind of permanent, but it seems like it should probably be a little bit more temporary. Maybe, I don't know, I feel like I should be bombing some tents or something? Maybe a supply train, something like that? I don't know. Either way, um, we got a Mayday call. We got a Mayday call on one of our planes. I need assistance. I let's just hope beyond hope that you don't need an engine. If you need an engine, then we can kiss goodbye to a uh, to a second pilot, I suppose. Right. Stay at altitude. Yeah, we've been pretty lucky actually thus far with uh, with bombing runs. Not seen many aircraft, uh, enemy aircraft that is come up behind us. Okay, that's four. Yeah, that's four for two. That's pretty remarkable. Okay, thank goodness it can't be an engine. At least I don't think it can be an engine from the from the inspection Vision menu that we've been given. Let's go high altitude. I mean, this is all bonus, right? So let's uh, let's be a little bit more. Bombas I think I got it. I think I got it. Nice, and we get away scot free as well. Wonderful. Yeah, post. Out of ammo. I am not convinced that I want to load your plane Vision with ammo. Trail. Let's go high altitude again. Bombas nice. Okay, even at high altitude, as we've already seen, you can't yes, always me. consistently evade the enemy. Uh, I do indeed wish that I could, but uh, but I guess that would be too strong. Cool. All right, what do we got? Keep on, keep on searching. Keep on searching here. Uh, two made aid planes, and then one that needs ammo. Yes. Yes, come on. You do the, the massive track. It does seem to be a little bit faster, but I mean, oh my goodness. Like, that is that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Uh, oh, okay. Yes. Five parts, lightly damaged. Excellent. Get you repaired ASAP. And then we will get you back out as well if we discover what's wrong here. No. Also, how much political influence do we need? We need, what, 40 political influence? And that'll get us 80 parts, 16 fuel, and a, and a couple of ammo. Cool. All right. 13 political influence. Do we get above the... Do we get above the line? Oh, yeah. We totally do. That's excellent. Right. Well, I would kind of like yes. to maybe construct an engine. I sincerely think that that is the best course of action for us. Yeah, I think that's the best course of action for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High command want to give me uh want to give me some more stuff. Do we want to do any more reconnaissance? I'll do I'll do reconnaissance for one for one mission. We'll do one more mission today, I think. Alright. Yep. Oh, what's this? Okay, so we're running low on fuel. Obviously, I don't really want to chance it. Back to base. Yeah, yeah, back to base. Don't don't worry about it. We only we only have one mission. It was also a pretty high level of danger, which was uh, which is pretty pretty risky. Okay, vehicle bombardment. This is kind of more along the lines of what I was uh, what I was expecting. I I don't know what it is, but I like the bombard missions. It's very very fun. Okay, a lot of fatigue for some of our more advanced pilots here. Let's get some of these aircraft repaired, and let's see if we can try and use three. We've got plenty of aircraft, so I have no idea why we're not using them. Uh, let's see if we can try and craft this engine part uh, as well that I am after. Yeah, it's literally the engine, which is the only thing that we don't have in stock. So let's make it, and let's make it lickety-split on the double, please. That's what we're after. That is what we're after. And what's next? We are after 70. 70 political influence. That's quite a lot of influence. And we've got three spare parts to go on. 
Now, the good thing about the about the USA campaign, I presume, is that you're able to Be buy insane. parts with money. Ooh, look at this, moving targets. There we go, bombs are away. And we got the truck. Didn't look like the bomb initially did much damage there, but uh, but there you go. Supposedly we got it. How many targets do we need to bombard? Two. So if we nail this, then we're good. I don't know if there's a chance that the enemy aircraft can catch up to us here. But I will say, uh, we're not able to change altitude, so I hope that there is no chance-based sort of uh, chance that the enemy aircraft just sort of appears out of the middle of nowhere and just gives us a really, really rough time. Okay. I've also got to assume that in the hard campaigns, this is probably more of a challenge because this doesn't really seem very challenging at all. You know, as long as you've got... Uh, as long as you've got at least my level of reflexes, and my level of reflexes are, uh, well, out of date, I think, is, is probably the polite way of putting it. I certainly don't feel like I'm uh, a particularly, a particularly twitchy gamer. Never played CSGO in my life. I would be interested in playing CSGO, though. Not perhaps professionally, or, or even in an entertaining capacity. Just, you know, sort of personally, I'd be interested in playing, uh, a little, uh, a little CSGO. Seems pretty cool. Alright, how long is this gosh darn mission? How many trucks are we gonna deal damage to? Presumably these, these aircraft are gonna run out of ammo soon. But, I mean, you know, the, the longer that we keep on going, the better I'll feel about my, you know, frankly, catastrophic, uh, initial first couple of days. A hundred percent success rate. We don't, we don't mess around here. We don't mess around here. In Soviet Russia, plane fly you. There we go. We got our engine back. We got our engine back. 300 political influence, by the way, to unlock a, uh, a secondary one. Uh, I think that there was... I think that that comment was basically along the lines of that there's an enemy aircraft. Boom and zoom. Okay, let's just try and evade to the right here. Not even a chance. Not even a chance that the enemy is going to try and hit me. Evaded. Easy evasion. Makes me feel very good about myself. Right, now we find out how many uh, how many bombs these Yak-3s have been carrying. Or no, actually, I tell you what, I think they're Yak-1s actually, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they're Yak-1s. Out of fuel. Okay. Bombs apparently aren't the problem. We can we can carry more than three bombs. Lovely to know. Good stuff. We're we're hitting target after target after target. I think the problem the problem as you're you're probably now seeing with this game, ladies and gentlemen, is that the is that the uh, the fun elements of the game, i.e., managing all of the resources and whatnot, is kind of locked behind this very repetitive combat interface yes. uh which is fine if that's you know if that's what you like but the the dodge interface the, yes. the bombing interface even though i enjoy the bombing interface the most because you have to lock the reticules and whatnot uh it's still it's still very repetitive isn't it it's still very repetitive there's uh there's not much variety in in the in the missions at least from what i've seen Right, seven targets bombed, one promoted pilot, ten morale, twelve political influence as well. That ain't too shabby. Uh, you know what? Let's fly out. Let's fly out with the recon plane. We'll just do a little, uh, a little short recon mission. We also have two skill points available. Scout plane is less likely to be intercepted. Nah. Increases camp security at night. Events such as marauders and stolen truck will no longer occur. All right. I mean, that means nothing to me. Uh, durability of each aircraft, or all pilots control the aircraft better. Bombing reticles move slower. Resistance, raise will. Pilots are getting faster than the bombardments. Um, express courier. I like the idea of express courier. Eventually, at some point. Right. Keep on moving forward. Uh, this looks like a bunch of bombers, but. That's just my untrained eye, having a look at those vaguely large shapes there. I'd really rather not. Out of fuel. Okay. Turns out that we return to base automatically when we run out of fuel, uh, so that's not necessarily anything to, uh, to worry about. Okay, you know what? I don't even think it's necessarily worth starting another mission uh, today, because that's going to keep us back for, like, I don't know, another two hours or whatever. 
So I think what we do is we just, you know, we take the double wins, we take the double W, and we skip forward to the end of the day, which definitely finishes at 7 o'clock in the evening. The reason being is that we just don't have enough spare parts to risk it, right? Like, we've been pretty fortunate thus far that all of our missions have concerned uh, mostly ammo refills, fuel refills. None of them have really been about spare parts, but, you know, we can't even repair. Uh, we can't even repair anything. I don't think that there is any situation where we would have enough spare parts to repair anything. Also, we can't even repair this plane fully. Uh, if we if we do indeed end up flying it, then it's going to be the last flight ever that that plane takes because it will not be able to return because it is too critically damaged at this moment in time. Okay, day four. Another squadron of bombers. Another squadron of bombers toward towards Moscow. We must prevent them from dropping bombs on the city. Intercept the bomber, fight the enemies. Okay. I mean, I really enjoyed the uh, HE HE 111 uh, bombing runs. That's that's pretty good. It's a difficult one, though. It's a difficult one because we need to get the. Let's do sure. Okay, a couple of Yak threes and one Yak one. We need to we need to try and. We need to try and hit uh, 70 political influence. We have to. We have to hit more political influence. Also, it'd be really nice if you could accept multiple missions at the same time. I sincerely think that, you know, there is a lot of... There's a lot of missions that we could do at the same time that would, uh, that would make... Would make things much better. All right. Oh, boy. You know what? Screw it. You know what? I'm just gonna throw... I'm gonna throw everything I've got at this aircraft. I'm gonna throw freaking everything that I've got at this aircraft. Mayday, mayday, mayday. We got four aircraft that are gonna be uh, that are gonna be in fighting shape here. I need assistance. Don't you worry about it. You've got some of the slowest engineers in the galaxy responding to your every need. Also, is there not any uh, like fighter aircraft that are guarding this that are guarding this massively important bomber? I feel like there should be. Also, it would be really nice if uh, if we did more damage to the HE-111, depending on how much of our cone was around the aircraft, around the enemy aircraft. That would be pretty cool. It's going to be a new engine, isn't it? It's going to be a new engine. It's got to be. It's it's cursed. It's cursed to be true. Also, we might we might lose the pilot. We might lose the pilot because if we're not able to repair it quickly, then ooh, perfect. Uh, then we're gonna be, then we're gonna be in trouble, and we're gonna lose the plane. All right, fifty percent of the HP. By fifty percent, I probably mean about forty-seven. Yeah, forty-seven. Weirdly, I don't know. That seems to be the halfway point, for some obscene reason. Okay, tail or I don't know, like support infrastructure or struts or something. Right, right, right. Left. Yeah, there's no yeah, there's no muzzle flash. Well, you love to see it. That's that's excellent to be honest. That's really really good. Okay, I don't think that there's going to be any issues with finishing this uh, finishing this aircraft off. We should be just fine. The only problem is repairs. This is a pretty advanced pilot. I'd rather not lose him right now. Oh my goodness, it yes. we are 100% out of spare parts. I cannot believe that we had enough spare parts for that. What are the chances? Okay. That's really good. That means that we can play a little bit safer now, I think. Oh, perfect. It means we should play a little bit safer. You know, we can afford we can afford to maybe do a flyby or something. We don't need to necessarily hit every single uh, every single attack run here. Oh boy, that was that was crazy. Okay, left, left. And then left again. Yeah, as I say, you know, it's it's worth us keeping it's worth us keeping our planes in tip-top condition. Let's not just throw the the parts down the drain. I suspect that the resource management sort of elements would be um, a little bit more tough to manage in like more challenging campaigns. This being the easiest introductory campaign. I guess it kind of makes sense as to why it's so easy, but I've never really needed parts that I haven't had. Uh, everything looks good here. Let's go in for the kill. There we go. 
That's it. Oh, it's still got a little bit of life. It has 0% life. Okay. That's unique. I'm, you know, maybe going to optimistically say that that should be rounded down to uh, death. Oh, you know what? Let's go around. Let's go around. Ooh, this is almost certainly a dodgy decision because we're, you know, we're getting to the territory where I'm not really convinced that everyone's got much ammo left. We might have one more attempt at the bomber before we start to see aircraft landing back here. Yeah, boys. Yeah, there we go. Okay, getting this um, Maximov uh, pilot back I'm in the sky is definitely important. You know what? Maybe a little bit of a blessing in disguise that we... Uh, that we uh, that we took damage initially. There we go. Okay. I think you know what, Maximov, you've taken damage already. It's it's your time to shine. You're gonna have to take damage again. I'm afraid, amigo. Looks like you're not gonna take damage because this is perfect. The stars have aligned. It's the final shot. Excellent. Do the damage. Do the deed. You fly away. And you shoot the aircraft down. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. We did it. Plus 20 political influence, plus 10 morale. Excellent. And we get our parts back, which means that we absolutely managed to uh, sustain ourselves for just a little bit longer. Uh, repairing. Let's get everyone, everyone ammoed up, shall we? I can't believe, I can't believe that we actually got enough political influence there. That's pretty fortunate, to be honest. Where are you going, Maximov? I think we want to try and do another one of these, to be honest. Also, all of my pilots are freaking jacked. They are jacked. Okay, let's do five. Five aircraft. We have four that are still going to be uh, available. Should we need them to be? I doubt, we'll, I doubt we'll need them to be, but there we are. Uh, right, let's check out our workbench. We got... Uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff in stock. Nothing. No problems. What about the Yak-3? Don't think that there are any issues here. Cool. All right. We still don't have enough parts to order another engine or anything of, of that uh, of that nature. But it doesn't particularly matter, right. does it? Okay. Left, left. And then right. Okay. All looks good. All looks good. There must be some sort of, like, damage variability here. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it is to do with the cone and how much overlaps on the enemy aircraft. It, it would seem like a fair way to do it. The only thing is, is that, uh... I don't understand why we didn't actually manage to destroy the aircraft last time. Uh, even though it was on 0% HP. But I'm assuming that it was a rounding error. Alright, that looks good to me. Uh, a second, a second perfect approach. Second perfect hit. Not taking a, a squeak of damage. Love to see it. You really, really, really love to see it. Alright, 64%. So we did like, uh, we did 19% damage there. Alright, let's go right this time. I'm feeling, I'm feeling lucky. Alright, turns out my, my luck extends much further than I initially anticipated. We could have gone in any what direction that we wanted and we would have still been fine. Which is brilliant. Very, very happy with that. The fact that we've got five aircraft on this uh, on this one bomber here basically leads me to believe that we are not going to have a single difficulty taking it out and it should be a very, very easy... A very, very easy affair. Uh, this will probably be the last mission for the day. Ooh, you know what? Let's just do it. You know, just, just double down. Just double that. We're going to take a little... Uh, yes, we're going we're to take a couple of hits, but that's okay. We'll spice it up a little bit. No, we can afford to. Much. We can afford to take a couple of hits. Uh, we don't have any points. In fact, no, tell a lie. We do have a point available. I'll throw a point into, I don't know, engineering. What the heck, eh? What the heck? There we go. Let's try a different strategy here. Let's go left, right. Let's go left, right, right. Sure, that was a strategy that actually worked shockingly well. 
The advantage to this strategy is that it allows you to adjust between the left and the right side at the last moment. The disadvantage is, is that you can't escape if they are if there are two muzzle flashes on, or if there's a, mother, a muzzle flash on either side of the aircraft. Let's try the left, uh, right, left approach again. Uh, we'll go right here. Again, I'm pretty sure the reason that this is as easy as it is is because I've got this bear emblem on the side of my, uh, on the side of my aircraft, which gives me a little bit of extra maneuverability. Hey, we did it. Wonderful. Plus 20 political influence. Holy cow. You can actually farm these things to, to heck and high beyond. I, I don't think that we need to do any more missions, to be honest, today. I, I think that that is just fine. Hopefully, hopefully High Command isn't going to be as annoyed at me as they were last time. I have so much political influence. Things are going, things are going great. However, I've already exceeded the maximum amount of political influence, which makes me think that perhaps, perhaps this kind of wasn't thought through past the point of 70 political influence, which seems a little bit ridiculous, but hey ho. Uh, can we upgrade the warehouse? I don't think that we can, can we? I'd love to get more fuel and more ammunition stored. I think that you can do that as part of, like, the uh, the American campaign, but apparently not as part of the Soviet campaign. So, there you freaking go. Uh, right, we're still doing a couple of yeah. mechanics, bits and bobs, with regards to the Yak-1 that is just chilling out on the pad over here. That's good. We'll get that repaired. It takes an inordinately long time to do repairs. Understandably, because, you know, you're repairing an aircraft. Uh, but I don't understand why it takes as long as it does, because, I mean, this is a video game, you know? And For goodness sake. For goodness sake. Okay. Medicines. How do we get medicines? This isn't something that we can just, you know, pick up a phone and order, is it? I presume that the only way that you can get medicines is through, like, special... Um, like, special events. I know that in the demo, anyway, there were a whole bunch of, like, special events that seemed, seemed to happen overnight, i.e. your, you know, your, your airbase would get raided and stuff, and, you know, you had to, uh, in, in the American campaign, which was, I believe, based in Tunis, you had to, like, trade, and there was some sort of trade deal with a, with a local tribe or something, uh, which was pretty exciting. But none of that has really been present in, uh, in in this campaign. It makes me think, like, perhaps the, the, the American campaign is, is the most cooked campaign. And then the uh, the Soviet and the, the German one are perhaps just, I don't know, uh, add-ons, really. Uh, let's go to the next day. We'll see if there's any sort of story elements for day five, perhaps. But I think other than that, we're probably going to wrap this video up. Um, this game, there's not even any story elements. That's a, that's a real shame. That is a real, real shame. Uh, as I say, feels like the, the Soviet campaign's a little bit, little bit undercooked. Could, could have done with perhaps a little bit longer in the oven. Um, this is a nice little strategy game. I, I like it. The, the, the problem is, for me, the fact that it, it's, it's pitched, at least on the Steam page, uh, as, a, as a management strategy game. But the, the, the management elements just aren't as, uh, aren't as forthcoming as perhaps I would like. Uh, but certainly the fact that there's a couple of additional campaigns, and obviously you can, uh, you can, you can see for yourself the, the, the huge number of campaigns uh, that, are, that are available now in the menu here. We got the USA campaign, and that's got three, uh, three different campaigns within itself. We got the USSR campaign. And we got the German campaign as well, which is cool. Which is cool. I like that a lot. Um, but I don't know how. I don't know how uh, how different they all are. Obviously, they they seem to have the same sort of repetitive elements. So uh, so be warned about that. But yeah, not a bad little strategy game. Just I would like it to have a little bit more uh, a little bit more management, perhaps. But uh, but that's maybe just me. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching uh, this episode. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. It's also greatly appreciated all the support over on the Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash open video. Thanks to Banana Nanana, C Senpai, and the Relay from the 325 Doll Plus 2 patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.